Hey what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video I'm gonna tell you that how you can run your flutter application on windows desktop uh, I know many of you requested because a lot of you guys have windows operating system so that's why I'm making this video and also the sample or you can say the repository or the windows e executable file is on a drive link which is uh, mentioned in the description so you can check it out uh, I am not posting it on github because it's still in a very early stage and uh, this is uh, my system where everything is like not set up properly except flutter so that's the thing so we will start with the installation part so I hope uh, you are already on the flutter master channel if you are not then move to the flutter master channel by writing flutter channel master So guys, in order to run Flutter desktop application, we have to first go to the Flutter master channel. And as you can see, I am already on the Flutter master channel now, which is version 1.13.6 pre.16. So uh, I'm using Windows OS on my Mac, by the way. And as you can see, uh, it will not work like by default, just if you will just download Flutter and uh, you will just move to Flutter Channel Master, you need few more tools if you want to run on Windows. So first tool is uh, Visual Studio. So you need this ID so that you can do uh, download other things. So Visual Studio is not Visual Studio code. It's a different one. It is the actual actual Visual Studio, which you can download from visualstudio.microsoft.com. And then you can see once we download it, then we have to download some other necessary windows development kits so basically first of all you have to install desktop development with c++ workload and then there are few components which we need ms build ms vc and uh, windows 10 sdk so once you will uh, download the installer of visual studio it will look uh, something like um where is my installer Oh, that's interesting so I'll go to my download section where it is and you can see this is the VS community installer which I will see and once I click yes okay before you get started there there are few things it will download few things initially just the installer by the way then we can download the additional components um like way back um, like uh, maybe few years back uh, when I was using this Visual Studio, then it used to download so many things by default. Now you can see here we have a lot of options like ASP.NET, Azure, Python.NET, uh, UWP. So we have to select this one, Desktop Development with C++. We will select it and then we will get a lot of options. So we have uh, to just select this MSVC, Windows 10 SDK as well. We don't need JIT, C++, all that stuff. So just let's just um, deselect them. And at the end, we want uh, what what else we want? We want MS build. OK. And as I can see, um, there is is there any MS build or something? I don't know. OK, so let's let's see what else we need. And if we, I go back there, then we can see we need ms build as well so i guess ms build should be a part of this only um but because i cannot find any ms build i mean different ms build to be honest uh so i guess we have a lot of uh, windows 10 versions as well so let me just check if we are missing something here because we need all of these um, to run our Visual Studio code. Okay, so what we can do, um, we have already selected this. I guess it should come by default with the, these two things which we have selected. And uh, as we can see, there is nothing else here. Let's also check the individual component section where we can see if we have MS build here. I guess there should be ms build here if dot net we can search so i'm gonna search ms build and you can see it is already been selected so yes uh total space required 5.94 gb now i'll click on uh, install it will take some time and uh, so it's it's almost one and a half gb of data so it's gonna take some time and then we will see how we can run our flutter application so let's see guys
so guys now we have downloaded uh, visual studio and all the components and uh, we have also restarted our system one guy uh, was asking me that day like uh, in my office that uh, uh, he actually downloaded the wrong windows sdk version so that's also the problem so just make sure that you are downloading the exact windows sdk version which is which they are showing on the flutter doctor so so that uh, you don't find any kind of issue so now we will go back to our powershell and i'll try to run uh, flutter doctor and guys also make sure that once you go to the uh, alpha or sorry master channel then uh, you have to make sure that you enable uh, windows desktop as well so as you can see now visual studio developer windows is ticked so that means we are going good and uh, if you haven't enabled it then i'll say just write flutter config um, and then dash dash enable then dash sorry dash windows and dash desktop okay um desktop okay looks good and now you can see um its value is not true and you need to start your editors now so yeah that's fine now i will open my cocktail app again so that we can see what's happening there so as you can see this is my cocktail app and here we have android assets ios lib mac os test web and all those folders but guys here you cannot just write flutter create dot and it it won't create the windows folder yet because windows and linux support is still in a very very early stage so you have to go to this uh, repository which is flutter uh, google slash flutter desktop embedding i will give you the link in the description and from here you actually have to download this example project so what you can do you can download uh, the entire uh, zip from here and it's like 1.5 mb or something and then what you can do you can just uh, um, extract it all and once i extract it similarly you can extract my cocktail app if you want and once i extract it properly then what you have to do you have to open it you have to open the example folder and from here you just need to copy this windows folder okay and once you copy this then you have to come back here and you have to paste it here so that uh, or it might not work because we need to uh, this is not how copy will work okay so we will just drag and drop here and just make sure you are only uh, pasting the um, this particular windows folder and now I guess you should be good oh what we have done actually is we have copied in the workspace which we actually don't want we want to copy it to the cocktail and oh it's something weird now okay what we will do we will <laughs> just delete this one again and one second guys remove folder from workspace now i'll go back and i'll copy it again to this particular directory and this time i'll select copy folder and now it is copied and now um what we will do we will just run flutter packages get for once um and then maybe we need to this restart our editor as well and uh, looks good to me and let's try one more thing and now you can see we have windows option here so select a device you can select windows from here and now what extra you have to do for windows you will go back to your main dot dart and before this run app you have to write default um, so there is something called default platform override so default target platform override and you can say it to um, maybe platform dot fuchsia so you need to import this platform so how we can do that is you can just select here and you can uh, import io library and we can just say fuchsia is fuchsia okay so it's 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 just uh, some okay so target platform actually we need so target platform dot fuchsia so this is what you have to do we can just remove this part now so this is all you have to do now we will try to run this application so let's see what happens then 
so I'll press function F5 and then it is launching let's see if that works or not so I don't know whether it will work or not but yeah you have to make sure that you have flutter master channel you have to make sure that you have um, enabled desktop you have to make sure that you downloaded visual studio and all the components like ms build ms vc and uh, windows 10 sdk with that proper version which the flutter flutter doctor is specifying and then you have to um, override the default uh, debug target platform now it is launching in windows in debug mode i hope it should work and let's hope it it should work for sure and 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 you can see this is our windows application it's running pretty great and yes <laughs> finally we could run it and uh, on windows so a lot of people asked me that how to run it on windows so this is how you will run it on windows i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you got to know how you can like play with this stuff on windows if you don't have a mac so yes so now we have like flutter running on mobile um ios android then web then mac os and now on windows so thank you so much guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments if you have any questions please subscribe to the channel if you want to know more about flutter flutter web flutter desktop and also press the bell icon to get future updates for my new videos and yes the source code will be available on github so you can check it out and thank you so much guys for watching i'll see you in the next video